Hello guys, welcome! My name is Maurice Izawa and in today's video I want to share with you how you can improve your company's processes and make your team more agile. As the company grows, business owners face a hard time in order to find the right systems to fit the, their needs. So uh, if you are searching for uh, solve the issue with the sales team, like you want to gain productivity, save time and be more uh, effective on the conversion, you, are, you start searching for a CRM. If you are looking for financial reports or you want to have a, a clear picture, uh, you search for an ERP or financial systems. If you are dealing with uh, employees that you want to streamline the process for travel, uh, you have the reimbursement or you have the travel request, you search for a specific assistance on that topic. Uh, I want to share uh, today uh, a platform, a process platform, we can call also the Lean platform, that will help you to streamline your organization process and uh, uh, centralize everything into one, one single platform. So in this way, it will avoid the situation that uh, we need to deal with multiple integrations. So we know that when we invest integrations, uh, we uh, invest a considerable amount of money and also a considerable amount of money to maintain those integrations that we need to send data from one system to another. I'm going to show you some examples of uh, processes that you can have in your company. So, okay, now I'm logged in my company and you are going to see different kind of processes attached to my company. All right, so we are talking about financial, operational, uh, marketing, HR processes. So let's take a look at, of some of them. Accounts payable, accounts receivable, uh, creative brief or customer satisfaction survey that you can attach Attach here, design thinking, even planning, uh, internal recruitment process. You don't need an, another system for this. You can model some of your of those processes here and manage the, the entire recruiting process, purchase process, marketing request, uh, vacation request. So many processes that you can manage here and uh, have the benefits to save time and also to organize your company. Okay, so let's dive in into the sales pipeline so uh, you can understand the, the benefits and how the flow uh, will work. Okay, so basically I just opened the sales sales process and what you can see here, if you are familiar, this is a Kanban style, Kanban methodology, so we see those phases and uh, we have cards in each one of the phases. So the flow is from left to right, this is the flow of the information. So in this sales process we have prospect, this is the first phase, okay? So all the prospects that we are uh, dealing with, we are creating, and this is the first stage that they will, they will be, okay, the prospect phase. After that we have discovery, that we gather information about the needs, about the aim of this prospect, uh, we send a proposal next, uh, after to send the proposal, we attach the proposal in this in this opportunity. We have the hot follow up or cold follow up. That is basically the moment to uh, make follow ups if they have any questions, uh, refine the proposal until uh, reach the negotiation. That is the next phase. Okay. After the negotiation, contract discussions, we just won the uh, won or lost the, the this negotiation. Okay, and this uh, finalize our. Uh, uh, our sales process. What is interesting in this platform is that, for example, you can connect process with other uh, flows. So let's say in the example, you have a sales process, you pass through until the end, and when you uh, you won the deal, you needed to uh, trigger uh, to the legal department. Uh, they will start to uh, prepare the contract, for example. So you can do this automatically when you won the deal. Uh, immediately, uh, you want to, for example, start the provisioning on the operational team that they will uh, start preparing the team for uh, the project. You can also, at the end of the operational, 
uh, you can start, uh, for example, a marketing team to create a, a case study for this project. So you have many possibilities. And, and what is nice is that uh, you can keep all the flows into the same places. So uh, this information will follow through uh, your process and will pass through uh, immediately to the next process. Let's uh, see a little bit more about this uh, sales process. We discussed about the steps. So let me show you one uh, card when I open this. Let me open this formula system that is one deal that we won. I have basically all the information that I need here in order to take decisions. And uh, when I open a one uh, deal, I can see uh, everything that happened with this deal since the beginning. So it's really interesting this. I have the company name, content, basically the information of the, the content, the, the, the prospect and now a customer. Uh, a history, a history of all stages when uh, it passed through those stages, the date and time and how long it took to, uh, uh, to, to pass through those stages, okay? It's really interesting. I can go into more details uh, and see uh, information about the customer needs. When I open one specific stage, I am able to see all the data that was uh, gathered at that moment. For example, the proposal that was attached when it was sent, more information, the customer needs, the reminders, etc. everything. Uh, what else? We have the attachments right there. So all the files that was discussed into this opportunity, we have it in a single place. We have the project estimation, the proposal, the project briefing, the images, uh, the diagrams, anything that is required for uh, this project we can attach here. We have the comments and the comments is regarding all the communications with your team, the internal communication. So in this example, I requested more information about uh, the proposal to my uh, sales guy. So he's preparing the proposal. So I'm asking about the status. And after that, I, I asked some questions to my resource manager. So in this case, I can get an update about uh, the availability of the resources, etc. So I can keep all the communication at a single place. This uh, will avoid any misunderstanding uh, in your process. So everything will keep in the same place. Uh, we have email templates that uh, along the way we can send, for example, instead of to prepare every time the same email, you can define it templates and just in two clicks, then you can send for example, now follow up for proposal. This will speed up your process and save time of your On the email side, you have all the histories of the emails exchanged with your prospect. You, it's interesting that uh, um, all the emails, when, when I sent, for example, to San Diego, Santiago, uh, after I received a reply from him, so this reply is automatically tracked here inside of uh, the opportunity. So it's pretty nice to have everything the, in the same place. and. The last but not the least, the checklist. And this checklist, I am able to uh, define, for example, for this, pr this proposal, uh, what we need to do, what is the minimum requirement, the checklist that we need to pass through to make sure that we cover all the aspects in the proposal, okay? So this is just a quick overview about what we can have uh, in the central place of this. And it's nice because you can uh, rescue, you can check all the details anytime. So let's say you have a, a, a person uh, who is dealing with some opportunities and this person just go on vacation. So you can uh, ask to another account manager to take care and he is going to have all the history uh, on the same the same place. Don't need to go to other places uh, to, to check or to have an idea. Okay. Okay? or even go to uh, email inboxes of the other colleagues in order to bring all the history and details, all right? But so important as to define the operation is the reports, the indicators. So let me show you this KPI feature. So when we go to the KPI, we are able to see, uh, for example, two kinds of quick reports here, quick indicators, uh, productivity report and also the cumulative flow that is regarding the steps. 
when we check here we are able to see exactly how many opportunities we have in each one of the states i can see that we have three opportunities on the proposal phase the same as i have one in the negotiation i want if i want i can compare uh, for example periods i can compare last month with this month and have a picture about what happened and uh, how our pipeline is flowing if we need more leads if we are having some um, some delays in the in specific part of the process or where is the bottleneck in our process so you can have all of those informations just right here in terms of the productivity report uh, we can see uh, how many is on time okay and how many was completed but we can see also the late and expired this is interesting because uh, here in our Kanban, in our uh, in our pipe, I can define per stage and for the entire process in a SLA. So I can tell, for example, I can define it in here on the platform that I uh, for my entire process the average is one month. So all the deals that is out of a one month, it will show like not expire. Okay, so it's just an indication, and you can uh, do something with. With this indication the same I can define my SLA per phase so let's say on the prospect I want to make sure that everyone that reached this initial prospect uh, is uh, is treated in at least three hours so I can define a three hours uh, SLA for this phase all right so this is what I would like to show you a little bit more about this platform if you are interested or if you enjoy this and you want to test a little bit more so I will leave the link here on the description so you can create an account and you can start using by yourself if you would like to test this specific pipeline that I'm showing you here in this video just go I will leave a link as well so you can sign up and I can duplicate this pipeline for you and you can start using this if you have any questions about the process or if you need any help just leave your comments below I'll be glad to help you on this uh, specific topic okay if you like the video just hit the like button uh, if you if you are new into this uh, channel just subscribe to receive more i will produce more videos about this platform and other uh, other softwares that uh, bring productivity to to our company and to our personal lives okay so this is it and see you in the next video bye bye